Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman. Today I'm going to show you how to install BOINC, which means Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing, onto Linux Mint. First thing you need to do is go down to the menu and you want to select Software Manager. It may take a moment for it to populate the cache, but once it does, it should look like this. Just go to your search bar and type in Boink. It may take a moment to search through all the repositories. And there we go. I usually just click the first one because after we uh, install that, it will actually prompt to install the other portions. So click on install. This virtual machine is probably going to be a little slower because I only gave it one CPU thread and about two gig of RAM, which isn't very much for a distributed computing virtual machine. So now it's asking for additional software, which was expected. Hit continue. Go into authenticate. Until it's still thinking. If you're installing using a solid state hard drive, it'll go much faster. But this one is a traditional spinner hard drive. I'm showing this process using Oracle's VirtualBox. The reason being is there's a lot of people who seem a little intimidated on Linux and this is a great way to get your feet wet. Also some projects you support only have work for Linux. So it's good to have a virtual machine in your back pocket if uh, you ever want to support those projects.
currently doing its cleanup for after installing. And despite it taking a little bit longer, I do prefer Linux Mint over Ubuntu. As it completes, you will see that it shows up in all applications. It'll be under Boink Manager. It'll start up on the simple view, which I don't tend to use, but I'll show you how to move it to the advanced view. Right now it's asking to attach to a project, which in this case we will choose World Community Grid. It will ask you to agree to their terms um, on some clients. Other clients, some of the older ones, do not. In this case, I already have an account and I will go ahead and log in. If you didn't already have a, a login for it and it didn't give you the option to create one there, you could always go to the website and create one manually, which I recommend anyway. That address is https colon two forward slashes join dot world community grid dot org question mark recruiter ID equals three three eight five four two the and team ID equals BP5XNJBR9N1. So here we've attached a project, hit finish. You can now see the World Community Grid is listed as a project. But we want to switch it to the advanced view, so come up to view, advanced view. Notices will show up once the client is done synchronizing with the project. Under projects, you can see the one project we've attached so far, which is World Community Grid. Tasks are already downloading. Since this is a single threaded virtual machine, there will only be one task that will run at any given time. You can also look through your transfers, statistics, and disk usage. However, while it's uh, downloading all its files and getting started, I usually go to Options, Computer Preferences. And I tell Boink what percentage of the processor's cores or threads I want it to use. Most people just leave it at 100%. You could also tell uh, what percentage of the time to run on each of those threads. Uh, what that means is if you set that to 90%, Boink would run the working it for nine seconds and then pause it for one second. That way it's only ever running 90% of the time. Some people use this when they have issues with their processor getting too hot, so it helps keep it at a certain temperature. Uh, it does cause problems at some projects because some work units do not like being interrupted consistently. So it's best to uh, find what works best for your system through trial and error. 
you can go through some of these different settings, like if you want to spin the computer when it is on a battery, that's more for if you have a laptop. Um, spinning while it's on battery basically means you're not wasting the, uh, the battery life cycle while it's processing. Suspend when computer is in use. Uh, basically, if your mouse or keyboard is active, it will suspend the work units. You can also just suspend your graphics processing if you are doing work that uses that. Uh, the advantage to this is it will continue to use the CPU even though it's processing the GPU work. You can also indicate how many minutes to set aside for the mouse and keyboard being idle before it starts work units back up. And then you can also suspend when non-BOINC CPU usage gets above a certain percentage, such as, say, if your antivirus kicks in and starts doing a daily scan, if it gets above a certain percentage, it'll go ahead and pause BOINC so that it can utilize those CPU cycles. Last category here is your cache, basically how many days or fractions of a day of additional work you want to load up onto your system. Uh, you can see in the background, I've already got two more work units loaded up. What this is good for is if your computer isn't connected to the internet 24-7, or if you suspect that the project might go down for maintenance for a while and you want to continue to process work units, you'll have enough to uh, carry you over for that duration. Under the network tab, you can limit your download speeds, your upload speeds, or how much data you use uh, over the course of so many days. You can also tell it how much hard drive space to use, uh, the amount of RAM you want it to use. I recommend checkboxing this where it says leave non-GPU tasks in memory while suspended. Uh, what that means is whenever Boink does uh, get suspended, it won't pull all the work that you've been crunching out of memory. Uh, the advantage to this is, is it will lose well, the disadvantage to not doing that is if Boink was suspended, it would pull it out of memory and then you'd lose all that processing p potential and it's almost like redoing the same work you've already done. By leaving it in memory, you just start back up where you left off. Last tab is the daily schedules. This is for if you want to limit the network connectivity that Boink uses uh, on a per day or per time basis each day. This is great for people who have satellite connections because they don't typically always have unlimited data throughout the entire day, but sometimes they have grace periods where it is unlimited and you can set Boink to utilize that data instead of the, the tiered amount. So once all that is set, you can just hit save and you're pretty much done for the majority of the configuring. I usually go back into options and I go to other options because I don't want notices popping up so I will usually disable that by selecting never. One other feature you can do if you don't want to add projects one at a time um, if you're like me and you support several projects I use an account manager it simplifies things. I typically use BAM which stands for Boink Account Manager and it's provided by boinkstats.com so since it's selected I just hit next Here, the username is not the email address, it's the username for Boink Stats. And the username is case sensitive. What you'll see here is additional projects being added because I have my settings at Boink Stats set to automatically attach certain projects to every computer I attach the account manager to. And in a moment you'll also see a few more working its download. And there's one from Goofy. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get started. If you have any other questions or uh, want to join a team, I uh, am part of the Hard OCP team. You can get to our forums, which we'd be glad to assist you with any questions you have by going to https colon two forward slashes hardforum.com forward slash forums forward slash distributed computing, well, distributed dash computing, I should say, 
dot three two forward slash. I want to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it or found it to be helpful, please click subscribe and share the video. It costs nothing to do, but it helps content providers like myself a great deal. Until next time, have a good one.